Getting started with your Lulzbot 3D printer has never been easier thanks to our new Cura Lulzbot Edition slicing software. New features include an updated user interface, more slicing options for advanced users, and better print quality than ever before from the updated slicing engine. In this video, we'll outline some of the updated features and show you how to get started by printing our iconic Roctopus on the Lulzbot Mini. To start, make sure your printer is connected to your computer via USB, plugged in, and powered on before launching Cura. Begin the configuration wizard by selecting your printer, selecting Add Printer, and clicking Finish. A 3D model named Roctopus will automatically load onto the virtual print bed the first time you run the software. If the Roctopus model is not present, you can download it from lulzbot.com slash roctopus or from the included USB thumb drive on a mini or SD card on a TAS. You can examine the model using your mouse to control the virtual print bed. Explore the different view modes by selecting the eye icon on the left side of the screen. For our first print, we'll be using the Polylite PLA filament that comes with your printer from the factory. On the right side of the screen under Material, select Polylite PLA. Then under Profile, select Standard. Now we can get the tool head ready to accept filament. In the top right corner, click the Print Monitor button to open the printer control menu. Click Connect to establish a connection between your computer and printer. Click Preheat Nozzle to raise the hot end temperature. Once the temperature has reached at least 200 degrees Celsius, you can remove any remaining filament and replace it with your new filament. Click the Extrude button a few times to purge any leftover filament. Repeat as needed until you see consistent and repeatable extrusion. Now you are ready to print. However, if you need to make any further adjustments to your model or profile settings, you'll need to navigate back to the Print Setup control menu at the top. Otherwise, click Start Print at the bottom of the print monitor. Once you've mastered your first print, explore the interface to unlock more advanced features. We've included profiles for over 30 different filament types, including a number of ornamental and industrial strength copolymers. You can use the custom settings menu to adjust infill, speed, and support settings, and unlock many other slicing options for advanced print tuning and third-party filaments. Finally, Add even more customization to your prints by using the post-processing settings under the Extensions tab to add pause G-code scripts for multi-colored prints. <laughs>